Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to get started in drawing the figure. And when we're drawing the figure, we're going to break it down into sections for ourselves and also block them into shapes that make it a little bit simpler. So we're going to be talking about what the proportion is if we're looking at a body straight on and off to the side. So let's get started right away. If you want to do this to the exact measurements that I'm doing, I am going to create an eight inch tall uh, figure. Uh, you can really add, the, add this on your own and you don't have to, you can eye it out. You don't have to do these exact measurements, but if you want to, I'm doing eight inches for my ruler in my sketchbook here. Uh, what you're gonna do is you are going to create some boxes and those boxes are where we divide the body up into eight sections. So you can see they're already kind of lined out here on the screen for you. The idea of this is that if we measured the height of our head and we repeated that eight times, what you're going to get is how tall you should be or how to make up the entire body. It can be divided up into eight sections. So I'm going to be doing that over here. So when I divide this up into eight sections, what I'm going to do is go inch by inch. So that'll be a little square for every inch. But like I said, if you don't have a ruler, you could totally eye this out as well. So I know everyone's proportions are different and height is different, but really if you get the measurement of the head, it should be somewhere between seven and a half to eight inches. But for the sake of drawing today, we're gonna to do eight. So these boxes are gonna to start to give us an idea of the width of our, our character as well. So first we're gonna create the head. I am gonna do a larger circle at the top And a smaller circle. When we first start drawing, we want to do the face as like one big smiley face, but really if we divide it up into a larger circle and a smaller circle, we're really starting to create an area for the chin um, and we start to get the shape of the face. It's a little bit more accurate to reality. So I've got the bigger circle and the chin hits the edge of that line. So make sure we are um, making marks and labeling as we go down each one. So now we're gonna go to our mid chest. So we're gonna start to develop our shoulders here. So when we are creating your mid chest area, another kind of note to think about is that your shoulder width is actually the size, if you took this, the, your head and had it to the side and had them next to each other, two heads next to each other, your, that's how wide your shoulders are. So if you're drawing a portrait, it's really good to know how wide your shoulders should be. Sometimes we do them too small or too large. Um, so think about the how long your face is and having two of those widths there. So I'm gonna to start to draw in, make sure you leave some room for your neck there. But we're just gonna start this um, kind of triangular shape for the shoulders. So let's mark off that the mid chest is going to go there. So now we're gonna create more of a rectangle shape for our navel. So we're building out the torso. So your navel is gonna be right about where your belly button is. And then underneath that, we've got our pelvis area, our hips. So just like our shoulders went down, we're going to have the, uh, the pelvis come out. So a blocky little shape for our character. It seems a little awkward at first, but um, it really helps to look at things that are complicated to draw and to simplify them into shapes. So that's basically what we do when we're learning to draw is simplify things down into basic shapes. So now we're going down to our knee. 
So when we are drawing the upper part of our legs, you're gonna see that there's a little bit of an overlap there, okay? That's showing where our legs touch. So the next two boxes are going to be the start of your legs. So they're connecting at those hips, and then we're meeting for those knees. Now, you can see the knees don't like come in all together and have a little point to them. There's still a bit of roundness there. So we've got our mid thigh. And our bottom of the knee. Forgot to label the bottom of the pelvis. So now what we're going to do is start to bring in our calves. So this area kind of comes out and comes back together. Now I know the label is gonna say ankle, but you're gonna see that we're gonna build out the feet. So remember I said that our body is anywhere between seven and a half to eight inches or eight sections, right? Um, so that's where this bottom piece, we're gonna start to build out the feet. Um, we're going to chunk them into shapes. A lot of times when we first draw feet, we just draw it flat. Um, but there's lots that make up that bottom section of our bodies. So let's take a look at how we can break it up into shapes. I've got this kind of triangular shape that I'm building up there to create our foot. It's going to kind of look like a like a um, horse's hoof, if you will, um, when we start to build up this. But you can see what we're getting towards on the right side is a more accurate looking foot. Sorry, you guys, I started to fast forward. So we are going to break down that foot a little bit more um, in a couple minutes, but right now we're gonna start to add our arms and looking at where they line up on the body. So we've got our navel here, and I'm gonna just line up my arms with uh, my navels by creating these rectangles. Now, if you are standing straight, your hands will line up with your mid thighs. Now this is hard to imagine when you are first drawing. Usually we draw the arms either too long or too short. So stand up straight and see where your arms actually lie, right? They rest on your mid thigh. So that is how long we are gonna create the arms that match our character here. You're gonna see that we are Building again the lower part of the arms. And we're gonna do kind of these mitten shapes for hands because it's hands can be a little complicated to draw. So we're just gonna stick with some mitten shapes now as we are just beginning. We just wanna challenge ourselves just enough, but going into drawing hands right now would be a little complicated. So let's do some mittens for now. And now you can see we're building up some shoulder pads here to um, have our character be able to move these arms. So just breaking it up into these shapes. Um, all of these shapes kind of replicate the way that our muscles would be laid out here. So we have these kind of block ear shapes. Now we're going to mark off where our knees go. We're gonna throw in some curves so our character has a neck. So we're connecting from that chin to those shoulder pads that we just created. And simplifying here, our head a little bit, bringing it all together. Um, and I want you to take a little bit of a closer look here at your feet. Um, so I just want to kind of solidify a little bit more here and give an idea of how these feet will kind of create our character. 
I'm getting to the bottom of my paper, so I'm just starting to draw it right in there. This gives us a general idea. Now, look at the character to the right. You can start to bring in some muscle tone or some more definition and uh, create a more realistic character. Um, maybe add a six pack to your character, um, whatever it is that you want to do to finish up your sketch here. And then we are going to work on developing our side by side sketch. <laughs>